Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. We are in week seven of lockdown here in the UK. It is so much fun. I love it. So there is actually one thing that I have noticed from being on lockdown is that I have actually gotten to know my friends a lot more and I've seen them a lot more than I did when we were free and roaming about the world <laughs> so which is weird but i love it i love being able to spend some time with my friends even though i am on lockdown and yes i do spend time with my friends as a lot of people do through the internet because we live in the 21st century if you hadn't noticed one of my friends did make an amazing suggestion and I thought that my childhood great dream just came true when I read that message. It just like my brain was like one big flower blooming away and I was just so happy. <laughs> and the reason for that is that my friend suggested to make a book club. I am so excited. I love a book club, even though I've never been in one. I have wanted to be in a book club since I was about 12. So this is really, really exciting for me. The first book that we are reading, and I have started to read this book, and it is amazing, is called The Silent Patient by Alex. Michaelites. I think that's how you say his surname. Sorry, Alex, if I said it wrong, said it wrong. It is amazing. This is a great book. I'm not even like a hundred pages in, but I'm in a book club. I'm in a flipping book club. And we are coming together, hopefully out of lockdown to review the book together in like a proper book club kind of way. So that's what we're gonna do in one month. So on the 31st of May. Today is the 4th of May, but hopefully maybe a bit sooner. I don't know. If everyone reads really quickly, then we can review it sooner and start on the next book sooner. But if we are out of lockdown, we are going to brunch or do something coffee house kind of style or probably you know probably a restaurant brunch kind of thing where we kind of get drunk in the middle of the day yes i love that i am so excited but after that i also want to review this book on here i think that would be a lot of fun as i've never really reviewed any books but i have read so many of them um this is a book from last year, 2019, and it has over a million copies sold and is a number one New York Times bestseller and Sunday Times, New York Times and Sunday Times bestseller. Top that. The Silent Patient. So I will review that when I'm finished. And I have some other books that I would love to review as well as I am reading right now a book called Wakenhurst. Tara. By Michelle Paver. Yes, I'm reading two books at a time. And this is not even the only two books that I'm reading right now. I am more than halfway through another book here which is the last book of the dark the dark artifices artifices something like that by cassandra clare if you're unaware of that that is a fantasy book um if if you know anything about maybe the shadow hunters like the shadow hunter books or the shadow hunter shows on uh, netflix that is from that so the Immortal Instrument series is the first series. There are six books, 
in that series. And then we have The Dark Artifices, which happens after that series. And then we also have a book called, or a three book series. So this is a three book series. And then we have another three book series called The Infernal Devices. So those are amazing. And those series happen like over a hundred years before the mortal instruments. So that is like, it's amazing. It happens in the 1800s. Honestly, in my experience, probably one of the best fantasy books I have read, and I have read a lot of them. I have read books from Iceland, from England, from America, from Norway. Um, there are these book series that I love, that I used to read when I was younger. It was like a series of 47 books and I read them all in like a year because uh, my grandmother gave me the whole series but that is another type of thing I don't I don't even know what the name of the uh, what the name of the series would be in English so I um, don't think I'm gonna talk about it but it was one of my favorites that I could read over and over again and yes I have been a bookaholic since I learned how to read. Yes, I have been a bookaholic since I learned how to read, which was around the age of five. Um, maybe compared to a lot of people, I was a late reader um, compared to my friends from when I was younger. Um, they learned how to read when they were like three. Um, I was not that talented. But uh, instead, I have been consistent in my reading, so I made up for it, I guess. I'm not the quickest reader, but does it matter? No. Not anymore. I'm not in school, so it's okay. My Kindle is not working. I, I never use it because I like the actual real thing, if you know what I mean. I like just the smell of it and the feel of it and the heaviness of it. Oh, they're magical. No matter what kind of book it is. Like I have a book about the about like the human anatomy on my bedside table. So I don't care what book I read. Well I do care. It needs to be a good book. I need to have an interest in it. But I read fiction, I, I read fantasy, I read romance novels, I read um, autobiographies, I read self-help books, I read, I guess I read anatomy books, <laughs> I read some, not really like science books, but I started to read a book called The Success Principles. Um, which is kind of like a self-help book, but at the same time it's not because it's more like a science -y kind of based, I guess. Um, so that's another book that I'm like not even a quarter of a way through. So I am really good at starting books and then stopping and then starting again like a year later. But that's just me. I just do my best. I, my mind is a bit, is a bit a flutter mind. I just want to do everything at the same time and that's not how real life works. So I'm gonna start and learn the piano and I'm gonna do some singing practices which is gonna be fun and I will see you next time. It's been a while. I hope you liked this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Maybe even comment if you like, share this video, whatever you wanna do. Don't do anything if that's what you wanna do. And I hope you are staying safe and healthy and at home. Bye.